Congratulations to Queen Naomi. It is indeed a royal celebration for her. Seriously. My people, you see in this life, a uh, whom God have blessed, no man can cause. And you see Queen Naomi Ogun say, God have blessed her. <laughs> Information reaching us right now is that uh, the royal palace have decided it is a collective decision, not KBS's decision, because I believe that if it is KBS's decision, he would have done it long ago because KBS wants Queen Naomi by his side. And that is why he will always go to Akure to be with her or go to uh, Lekki Mansion to be with her and Tadenikawo almost all the time, such that even the wives are complaining. According to what we are hearing right now, they said a major royal manor in that palace have been released to Queen Naomi to move in and uh, she is going to be staying there for uh, for the meantime until KBSC is able to fix the place that he has started building for her, allegedly. This royal manor, according to what we are hearing, is a place that is kept is a very as in a very big department, or let's say apartment, a very big mansion kept for royal kings and queens when they visit. You know that the other day we heard that Queen Naomi and Dr. Elizabeth visited U.S. in Oyotunji village. Right there, there was an apartment for them. They don't have to go and lodge in a hotel, no. There is a very well-furnished apartment where they, are attend, uh, where they were kept and they, they took good care of them. They say right there they have their maids, their servants, anything you want, they are there to serve you. That is the same way that Ilefe Kingdom have it inside that palace. And this is where they normally host big kings from different countries, especially when they come for uh, maybe festivals or occasions, you know. So, and this place is so special to the people of Ilefe Kingdom, especially the royal uh, village, the royal community inside that palace, because the palace is such a very big place, you know. So, and... Since the reason why Kwenami did not return back to the palace on that uh, uh, last month that he's, she's supposed to return is because of accommodation issue due to the fact that the Oluru is messed up uh, her Yeyoluwa that KBSC have furnished to her taste. You know, ever since then, KBSC have not been happy. Even everyone around him will know that Kwenami not being around him is causing him so much pain as he doesn't like it, especially... Uh, the Oloris are the ones uh, receiving the uh, the receiving end, you know. KBS is being so mean to them because of the, the role they played in making sure that Penomi did not return back to the palace. So according to what we are hearing right now, they said, when uh, Penomi returned back to, to the palace with uh, Tolu, Tolu happens to be the princess of Oyotunji village, the one that just lost her father, you know. And she is supposed to be taken care of. She is one of those people that can be taken to that uh, royal manor and take good care of them. So, when Kwenomi wanted to leave the palace, they said Kabiesi called her and told her that you are not leaving. That that place has been vacated, as in they have vacated the place for you to move in. That right now you are going to be moving in there. You stay there with Tadenikawo until he is able to fix the your house, as in the new building that KBS is constructing for her. They said Kwenomi was shocked, as in she was like, she was marveled. You know what it means for KBS to take such a decision? This is not something that KBS can decide on his own, even though he is the king. There are certain decisions that he cannot make on his own. And one of those decisions happens to be about Kwenomi's return. Left for KBS, Kwenomi would have returned long ago, but because there are elders who are fighting, saying that she cannot return, that she embarrassed their king, she did this, she did that. Even when other Oloris are doing worse, they are not seeing those ones. But because Kwenomi left the palace, Kwenomi have done the abominable thing according to them. Those ones are the ones that delayed Kwenomi's uh, return to the palace. But KBSC fight and fight and fight. And at the end of the day, he was able to uh, convince some to his side 
that supported that Winomi will be returning. And that was why she started the routine cleansing that she did for 28 days. I don't know if you remember. You know, I'm just trying to let you know that there are certain decisions that KBS cannot take. And even when KBS is trying to take or beg or help, you know, seek for people that will support him, seek for the uh, uh, um, consent of the elders to do certain things. There are some people who will always fight him, especially when it has to do with Queen Naomi. Those elders who sees Queen Naomi's prayer as a problem to them, you know that anytime KBS wants to say something that will be in favor of Queen Naomi, they are going to be fighting it, you know? So KBS have fought and fought and fought, including Paropo and the, the brothers. They said they know what they passed through before they were able to convince some of these uh, elders especially those who doesn't like Queen Naomi, to release that place for Queen Naomi. Let Queen Naomi be closer to KBAC until KBAC is able to provide a place for her. That It took KBAC a whole lot to do that. So that is one of the reasons that Queen Naomi uh, was very happy, as in she really appreciated it. Some people say she will be moving in into the palace by Sunday. I don't know how possible that is going to be, considering that Sunday is her service and everything, but... Since she will not be the one doing the movement of the uh, 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 the bags and everything, she might decide to. After all, information have it that most of these days, whenever she finishes in the church, that they normally come back to Ileife on Sundays. That is what we keep hearing. So we are hearing right now that Kwenomi will be moving into the palace by Sunday. I don't know if they are going to make it a big uh, occasion or it's just going to be... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be, but information have it that that uh, royal mano have been released for her to move in. And right now she have moved in with the uh, this uh, this uh, the princess from Oyotunji village, Princess Tolu, whom she returned back with. You know, yes. So maybe Princess Tolu will be there by Sunday. She will join her. I don't know, but they said everything that they need as royalty that they are there. Because KBSC is very surprised. Not just KBSC, everyone is surprised on how Penaomi is handling things these days. You know that before now, before this time, Penaomi <laughs> used to say, at every given opportunity, I don't want to do again, I don't want to do again. If you remember that first time that KBSC got married to her, she have left the palace like two to three times. You know, but these days, we buy here anyhow they want it. Queen Naomi is there to give it to them back to back. Of course, that is what growth can do in the life of a woman too. And now she knows that she belongs to the palace. There will be no need of saying, I don't want, I don't want again. It's better for her to fight her battle once and for all and win the crown. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Tell me what you think about it on the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. Bye. See you.